We begin within the Milky Way galaxy during the 22nd century, where interstellar travel is possible through the use of mass transit devices called mass relays, a technology believed to have been built by an extinct alien race known as the Protheans. The Citadel, a colossal deep space station, serves as the capital for a conglomerate body of governments known as the Citadel Council, which controls a large percentage of the galaxy and is responsible for maintaining law and order among races of the galactic community. Races that belong to the Council include humans, Asari, Salarians, and Turians, with additional allied alien races including the warlike Krogan, the nomadic, environmental-suited Quarians, and their wayward creations, a race of networked artificial intelligences, or AI, called Geth. In 2186, six months after previous events, the galactic community continues to live in fear of an invasion by the Reapers, a highly advanced machine race of synthetic organic starships that are believed to eradicate all organic civilization throughout the galaxy every 50,000 years. Meanwhile, the Krogan face extinction due to the Genophage, a genetic sterility mutation developed by the Salarians and deployed by the Turians as a bioweapon to severely limit the Krogan population. The Quarians prepare to retake their home world from the Geth, while the human supremacist terrorist organization Cerberus, led by the Elusive Man, is regrouping after a temporary alliance with the commander Jane Shepard, an elite human soldier who's the commanding officer of the Starship-designated Systems Alliance Space Vehicle Normandy Stealth Reconnaissance II, or SSV Normandy SR2, to defeat the Collectors, indoctrinated and genetically modified remnants of the Prothean race who are abducting human colonies. Shepard's relieved of duty and confined to Earth, awaiting court-martial due to working with Cerberus, by the Systems Alliance, a militaristic organization that represents humanity within the galactic community, when the Reapers invade, quickly overwhelming Earth. After being reinstated by Alliance Admiral David Anderson, who stays behind to rally Earth's resistance, Shepard's ordered to travel to Mars by Alliance Admiral Stephen Hackett. On Mars, Shepard learns from Liara Tassoni, an Asari information broker and researcher, about a Prothean superweapon capable of destroying the Reapers, and recovers its schematics from the elusive man, who reveals Cerberus's desire to control the Reapers instead of killing them. With schematics in hand, the Alliance begins construction on the device, dubbed the Crucible, while Shepard's ordered to recruit support from other races across the galaxy, adding to the Alliance's war assets and the total military strength of the galaxy's anti-Reaper forces. Shepard begins by rescuing General Adrian Victus, the newly appointed Turian Primarch, from Mene a moon which orbits Palavin, the Turian homeworld. Victus pledges Turian support to Shepard on the condition that the Krogan help to defend Palavin, but Erdnot Rex, leader of the Krogan, refuses assistance unless the genophage is cured first. Shepard and Rex travel to Sir Kesh, the Salarian homeworld, where they rendezvous with Morden Solus, a Salarian scientist who formulates a cure from Eve, a fertile Krogan female, and plans to disperse it using a tower known as the Shroud on Tachanka, the Krogan homeworld. Before landing on Tachanka, Shepard's contacted by Dalatris Linron, leader of the Salarian Union, or government, who reveals that the Shroud's been sabotaged to prevent the dispersal of the cure, and offers the Union support on the condition that the sabotage is left intact. Shepard must decide between deceiving the Krogan into believing that the genophage has been cured, thereby earning both Krogan and Salarian support at the cost of long-term harm to the Krogan, or informing Morden of the sabotage, leading him to sacrifice himself to correct it and deploy the cure, receiving support from only the Krogan. Shepard decides to undo the sabotage, and after dispersing the true cure, the Krogan assists the Turians, who then both honor their agreements by proceeding to join the war effort. After a failed coup by Cerberus to take over the Citadel, the Quarians offer their support to the Alliance, conditional upon Shepard helping them to reclaim their homeworld, Rannoch, from the Geth. In service of this, Shepard boards a Geth Dreadnought, where she rescues Legion, a captive Geth mobile platform ally, disabling the Reaper control signal being broadcast through it to the other Geth, which is significantly augmenting their combat capabilities. Shepard then locates and destroys the true source of the signal, a Reaper located on Rannoch's surface, which gives the Quarians an opportunity to attack the vulnerable Geth. However, Legion reveals that it intends to sacrifice itself in order to upgrade the Geth using the Reaper technology, which would not only empower the Geth to defeat the Quarians, but also enable them to achieve true sentience and free will. Shepard must decide between supporting either the Geth or Quarians, leading to the extermination of the opposing race, or attempting to negotiate a ceasefire leading to peace between the two races. Shepard succeeds in mediating the conflict, resulting in Legion's sacrifice to grant true intelligence to the Geth, who then allow the Quarians to finally return to Rannoch with the goal of peaceful coexistence. After gaining the support of both races for the war effort, Shepard's summoned to the Citadel by Tebos, the Asari counselor, who reveals that there's a hidden Prothean artifact on Thessia, the Asari homeworld, which may help Shepard identify the Catalyst, an essential component for completing the Crucible. There, Shepard discovers a Prothean Virtual Intelligence, or VI, called Vendetta, but Kai Lang, a Cerberus assassin, arrives and steals it as Thessia falls to the Reapers. Desperate to reclaim Vendetta, 
Shepard and crew follow Lang to a facility called Sanctuary, located on the human-colonized world of Horizon, where Cerberus has been secretly researching indoctrination. The Reapers mind control technology, using refugees as involuntary test subjects for their experiments, and Shepard discovers the location of Cronus Station, the headquarters of Cerberus. In preparation for the assault on the Cerberus base, Shepard further builds the Alliance's war assets, first heading to Eden Prime, another human-colonized planet where Cerberus has taken over a colony in search of a Prothean artifact. After infiltrating the colony and defeating the Cerberus forces, Shepard discovers that the artifact is actually Javik, the last surviving Prothean, kept alive in stasis for over 50,000 years, who joined Shepard's crew after she awakens him, providing information regarding the Prothean Empire and Reapers, as well as assisting them in combat, by using his skills as the Prothean Avatar of Vengeance. Afterward, Shepard follows a trail of the Leviathans, an ancient aquatic race capable of killing Reapers, which is currently being investigated by Alliance Task Force Aurora, headed by Dr. Garrett Bryson, and being hunted down by Reaper forces. Ultimately tracking Leviathan's location to 2181 Despina, a water planet consisting entirely of ocean, Shepard uses a Triton ADS, or Atmospheric Diving Suit, a mechanical exploration unit, to descend into its layer deep under the ocean surface. There, she meets a Leviathan, learning that their race originally dominated the galaxy, possessing an ability similar to the Reaper's indoctrination, which they used to enthrall all other races to serve them. They created the Intelligence, an AI with a mandate to preserve life at all costs, which in turn created the Reapers, modeled after Leviathans. The Intelligence then used the Reapers to exterminate the majority of Leviathans, as it identified them as a threat to life, causing the surviving Leviathans to go into hiding. After convincing the Leviathans to join the war effort, Shepard departs for Omega, a space station built in the mined-out husk of a metallic asteroid, which serves as a lawless haven for criminals, terrorists, and malcontents, and is ruled over by Arya Talok, a ruthless Asari. Discovering that Omega's been taken over, with its citizens enslaved by General Oleg Petrovsky, one of Cerberus's most accomplished and brilliant agents, Shepard assists Arya with its infiltration and reclamation, joined by Nyrene Kandros, leader of the local Talon's mercenary organization, who sacrifices herself in the process. Upon defeating and confronting Petrovsky, Shepard has the choice of either killing him or keeping him alive for intel, and decides to spare him in order to further bolster the war effort. Heading back to the Citadel, Shepard meets Maya Brooks, an Alliance intelligence analyst who informs her that an unknown group is targeting Shepard, who's suddenly attacked by a group of mercenaries and forced to fight her way to safety. After regrouping, Shepard learns that the mercenaries are members of CAT-6, or Category 6, a private military organization consisting of soldiers who were dishonorably discharged from the Alliance, and she's assisted by Brooks and Shepard's entire crew, including former members from previous events, in tracking them down to the Citadel archives. There, they learn that CAT-6 is being led by a clone of Shepard, originally created by Cerberus to provide spare organs and limbs for the real Shepard, when she was being revived by the Lazarus Project in previous events, and Brooks is revealed to actually be her accomplice, a former Cerberus operative who left the organization to pursue her own pro-human agenda. The clone attempts to steal Shepard's identity along with the Normandy, and after a fierce battle in the ship's cargo hold mid-flight, Brooks abandons the clone, who falls to her death after the hold's door is opened, before Brooks is taken into custody. Now sufficiently prepared to storm the Cerberus space station, Shepard assaults it, accompanied by Edie, the Normandy's AI, where she fights and kills Lang, before learning from Vendetta that the Catalyst is the Citadel itself, which the Reapers have captured and transported to Earth, after being forewarned of the Crucible by the now fully indoctrinated Elusive Man, who abandoned the Cerberus station prior to Shepard's assault. Afterward, the Alliance and all its allies gathered for the war effort launch an all-out assault on the Reapers, in a last-ditch effort to retake Earth and activate the Crucible by joining it with the Citadel. After fighting her way through a seemingly endless amount of Reaper forces, Shepard finally reaches a Reaper transportation beam, allowing her to enter the Citadel, where she meets up with Anderson, whom she's forced to shoot by the elusive man when he uses an indoctrination control pulse, before she then breaks free and shoots him as well, granting him a moment of lucidity before he dies. Anderson tells Shepard that he's proud of her, just before he succumbs to his own wounds and dies as well, with Shepard afterward being transported to the Crucible's pinnacle, where she meets the Catalyst also known as the intelligence created by the Leviathans, who appears to Shepard in the form of a young boy whom she witnessed die during the Reaper's initial invasion of Earth, the memory of which has haunted her dreams ever since. The Catalyst confirms that it created the Reapers, as part of its solution to the problem of the endlessly cyclical, total annihilation of organic races by the synthetic races they inevitably create. Every 50,000 years, the Reapers harvest all organics at the apex of their civilizations, processing and converting them into new Reapers, in effect storing their entire civilizations in new forms. However, the fact that organics were finally able to complete and activate the Crucible for the first time in history proves that the solution will no longer work, and as such, the Catalyst offers Shepard the option of choosing a new solution. Destroy, control, synthesis, or refusal. 
Destroy would eliminate all synthetics from the galaxy, including the Reapers, Geth, Edie, and potentially Shepard, being partially synthetic herself. Control would mean the destruction of Shepard's body, with only her consciousness remaining, which would replace the Catalyst as the Reaper's master AI. Synthesis would fuse all organic and synthetic life together by Shepard sacrificing herself to merge with the Crucible's energy, using her body as a blueprint to rewrite the DNA of everything in the galaxy to be an organic-synthetic hybrid. Refusal would mean declining all proposed options, either verbally or by shooting the Catalyst, resulting in the Crucible not activating, the Reapers winning the war, and the Harvest Cycle continuing with Liara creating time capsules containing detailed records of the war in the hope of future generations defeating them. Shepard chooses Synthesis, sacrificing herself to immediately end the war, resulting in all life, including the Reapers, peacefully coexisting and rebuilding the galaxy together. In the distant future, an individual known as the Stargazer tells the story of the Shepard to a young child, ensuring that Shepard's legacy lives on.